Hello everyone. So today we will learn how to design our menus in the BB form. So for this, what I have taken is this is my BB project. In this BB project, I have taken one form. So I will go to the toolbox and from here I will select this control menu strip and I will place this control in my form. The moment you place this control in your form you will see that menu strip component this control is visible in this component tray this is a component tray so here we find this control here and also we find that we find one visual area here that is used for designing our menu so we start creating the menu let's say first I write here for example clock this is the first menu I am creating. You can see here that these this is for other menu. If you want to design uh, four, five, six menus, you can design it. And this is for the menu items. So under this clock menu, if I want to add one command, let's say eight. Other is time. The third is Day. So we see that in our form we have one menu item clock and this we have three sub menu items or C command, J command, time command and day command. The second menu which I want to add in my form is for example colors. Under this menu I will create items like black, white and let's say red. So now our menu is ready. Now we run our form. This is the output. Now you can see that in this form we have two menus clock. Within the clock menu we have three items date time and day and in colors we have black white and red now the second thing is if we want to associate some access keys access keys means if we want to create some shortcut with this menu that is also possible and this we can do with the help of m percent sign how to do is simply go to the menu click on it and again put uh, another click so you will get a cursor which allow you to type on it let's say if I want to make a uh, access key with the word with the letter C so I'll go to C I will see the cursor is blinking here and here I will type M percent similarly let's say for colors if I want to add the access key with this colors with the letter O so I'll go up to O I'll bring my cursor just before O and then I will add the M percent sign now how actually it affects so actually with the adding an M percent over the access keys it is just like a shortcut now we'll see the impact of it so if I run my project and you see this is the output now if I press alter C because in this clock we have the C we have put the M percent just before C so if I press alter C from my keyboard I will see that the menu options are open similarly if I press alter O and we see that the menu options are open so we have a created a shortcut by doing this Okay, so now we can see that let's say this is our menu and we have three items are here. Sometimes we want to reorder these items. Reorder means we want to change the sequence. I want that the time should become first, date should become next. For example, if I want date should become as a first item, so I'll go here and simply drag it 
the position where I want. For example, again I'll try. So now you can easily see that day becomes the first item, date is second. Similarly, wherever you want to reorder the items, you simply go to the items, drag it and place it at the position where you want. So now we have seen that how to put the menu items, how to put the access keys, shortcut and also how to reorder. The next thing we can see here is if we want to associate some code. For example, what I want is I want when I go to my clock menu and I select the item date, it will display something on my form or you can say it will display the date or when I click on time, it will display the time. So for this, what I do is simply just to demonstrate this or just to have a feel of this, what I do is I will just take a label. I go to the toolbox, I select this control label and I place it in my form. Now what I want is, as I told you that when I click on date, I want the date should be displayed on the label. When I click on time, the date should be displayed on this, uh, the time should be displayed on this label. So let us demonstrate what we, what we have to do is, so what we do is, so here we have to write the code for the date event because we want the things to be happened on the click of date menu item. So I double click on it, we will get this code window. So here I will write label. Now, um, first thing is because what we want is I, we want that when I click on this, it should display here. So you must be. Uh, knowing the name of this control. So the name of this control is label1. From here you can see this is the name of the control is label1. The name means these are the identifiers through which we can refer the control. So and enable to display the things we would be referring hit text property. <coughs> this is the property that is displayed. So I go to here and then I double click on it and here I will write label1 dot text equal date string similarly again I go back to my form this is time I want again when I click on the time the time will be displayed on the label so I double click on it I get the code window here I will write label1 dot text equal time string now this data string and time string these are the defined properties in visual basic dot net what it will turns Data string will return a string, basically it returns a date that is taken from the system. Time string is again displaying the time or you can say the system time. Now we can see when we run this project, so now we have this form ready. When I click on it, this is our output. Now I use the shortcut, I will press Alter C. I'll get this options open. When I click on date, it will display the date, today's date. So today is 26-9-2015. Similarly, if I go and click on time, the time is shown to you. So I hope that in today's lecture, we will learn the basics of menu, how to keep the menus in our form, how to add the access keys to create the shortcuts, how to reorder and how to associate some events with these menus. Thank you very much.